All right, Coach, it's your, your first week after camp. School started mm-hmm. Monday. Just kind of talk about uh, the different dynamics that post camp yeah. uh, practice brings. Well, it's certainly a different it's a, it's a different mindset, and we've got to get in the groove of that. Today, there's a lot of stuff going on, and uh, that's what we talked about the players about. We've got to be able to you know, be a student athlete. We've got to go to class. We've got to take care of our business. We've got to find time to take care of our papers and our projects and still come out here and get a great practice. I thought it was a, it was a solid night. You know, tomorrow needs to be better, uh, but you know, it's, it's part of the process. I'm glad we played next week, so we've got this week to iron out all those details. Uh, what? How is it real different going from camp into school? I mean, the guys have to learn how to, you know, juggle the classes along with the what the install you're doing with your playbook. No, it's, it's tremendously different. You know, for the last 17 days, you know, we've been able to. It's been just football. I mean, it's been football for them probably 14 hours a day, and uh, you know, get the rest of the night and do it again. So it's significantly different. I mean, it takes a. You know, there's a lot of teams that you know got a lot of talent. We're not even more talented than anybody else in our league, but it's it's part of, of winning uh, is being able to make make that adjustment and, and and focus and understand this is college football, it's not the NFL. Uh, you know, we have a formula that works here for us. Uh, you know, but we do have a lot of new guys. So we've got to get a lot of guys acclimated in order for us to take the next step. Uh, with your new guys, kind of get into practice tonight. Monday night football is how you usually wrap up on Monday evenings. Uh, just kind of talk about what that is and how important it is for your young guys. Yeah, you know, we're not the only one in the country that does this, but we, you know, Monday night football, we, we get the Monday night football theme song going. You know, a lot of our, our, our threes and our young our young kids, you know, we're going to get 25, 30 plays. And, and, you know, like I told them, it's not only for next year, it's for this year. Who can play, you know, week two? Who can play week five? You know, who who who's making progress, you know, they can, and they can challenge to, to be a solid number two or get on special teams. So for us, it's invaluable. You know, the guys bought into it. The older guys have a lot of fun with it to see, you know, it's kind of their legacy that, you know, they, they grew up doing this on a Monday night. You know, you do this for 10, 11 weeks, you know, you're talking about another 300 plays. And for us, that helps us, us you know, when we can redshirt a guy and we can get him this, these extra work, um, you know, that's kind of been the key to our success. Another tradition you've done is the last day of camp, you always do your ash ceremony and you got new faces. So it's always a little bit different, even though the substance is the same. Just kind of talk about that. Yeah, you know, that's one of my favorite things. Coach Bird brought that here, I guess, five years ago. You know, and the theory behind it is we all, you know, we take a piece of wood and we write down, you know, our team goals or individual goals on the back side. We'll walk, you know, everybody write down something that you'll sacrifice this year. What will you give up? Your time, you know, um, you know, something, your selfishness, whatever it is uh, that you can give up to make yourself better, make our team better. You know, and then we have a bonfire and everybody drops it in there and, and all those ashes are, are, are melted in there together. Then we scoop the ashes up and, you know, every game we have a ceremony on the field and we have a creed that we read. Read and we, you know, we we drop the ashes on the field and, uh, you know, it's just something to kind of get us focused, something to, to kind of, you know, let us know we're all in this together, we're all we're got. Uh, and I, to me, it kind of really brings the team together, and we've got a, uh, you know, it's been a great tradition for us the last five years. Your last scrimmage heading into uh, game week, which is next week, September first at Cincinnati, is now Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you looking at to really try to? focus on in that last scrimmage right you know it, it'd be you know us versus our first opponent you know now you're starting to uh, look at some different things obviously it's the first game so you know somehow a lot of it's shot in the dark a lot of it is you know what you you know you try to prepare for everything concentrate on a few things uh, you know just kind of be as sharp as you can be the kind of the last time that we kind of tackle and go to the ground um, you know so we're, we're about 10 days out and uh, but I thought the guys got a little taste of it tonight and it was kind of good to see some different looks instead of just each other mm-hmm. uh, um, so it's you get into the fun part now. This is a part as coach that you love, uh, you know, the game planning and the getting ready week by week. Crazy two weeks, as you know, you know, and then we turn right back around, get ready for Hawaii. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's been tough on the coaches to try to plan for this with a you know Wednesday off day because because these first two weeks are, are mm-hmm. certainly different than the norm. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you, man.